So this is exactly what we're talking about. This train has been stopped for about 10 minutes, blocking all of these crossings. You can see cars are already starting to reverse and turn around because that traffic is piling up. Now we've been told that the average time that these crossings are blocked is about 25 minutes and the mayor tells us that happens every single day and they said that puts first responders, residents and businesses in jeopardy. I saw it backing up, so I thought the gates were going to go up right away. Drivers who live around here aren't surprised by sights like these. It's been a few minutes. The train is gone. But, but, I mean, what are we doing? Are we waiting for another train or what? The problem started more than a decade ago when trains started getting longer. Many of the trains coming into the Bensonville yards west of Franklin Park are more than two miles long, so they frequently have to stop for mechanical reasons. And those delays can range anywhere from 10 minutes to two hours. Well, you can't see anything coming. A 22-day study last year found that during that time frame, the gates were blocked more than 117 hours. Probably five or six times a day, we have stop trains blocking all the crossings at Franklin Park. Not only is it inconvenient, you can see the cars trying to reverse and turn around. It's dangerous. Mayor Barrett Peterson shared this video with us, showing a group of kids from the nearby high school climbing underneath the stop train to cross the tracks. Locals told me this happens all the time. Well, I've been stopped here for a half an hour a couple of times. After years of studies, letter writing, and pushes from lawmakers, the problem got the attention of the federal government, which is now pledging $8 million to build an underpass and provide safe pedestrian passage. <laughs> it's about time! The moral of the story is, the answer is always no unless you ask. The bad news, Mayor Peterson guesses residents won't be able to use it for another eight to nine years, but it will be worth the fight. There is more danger in Franklin Park than at most intersections throughout the Chicago area, so we're very pleased that we're finally able to get a remedy to our uh, to our challenge. The $8 million grant to fix this, part of a total of $24 million in federal funding going to the state of Illinois. Indiana got $25 million. In Franklin Park, Megan Hickey, CBS2 Investigators.